put on my cute little festive outfit, lots of sparkles and pink, of course. We are back with one last video for the year. And similar to last year, I'll be sharing with you my top five favorite new fragrance launches of 2022. Now, 2022 has been an incredible year when it comes to new perfumes. So it has been difficult to pinpoint just five fragrances that in my opinion are A, my favorite, but also that I would recommend over all of the other launches. And goodness, there are some amazing launches this year. So Coming in at number five, we have to include a floral fragrance because your girl is a floral girl, Miss Your Rose Essence. Now this is a limited edition within the Miss Your category and the whole idea is to celebrate rose water. So it is a delicate rose fragrance I had a bit of an issue with the cap earlier, but now I managed to fix it so it looks better. But essentially this perfume has a big dose of Centifolia Rose, which is the rose that grows in Grasse, in the Dior's Grasse Rose fields. And it's an extremely expensive raw material to use in fragrances because the yield is super low and there's a very high demand for this ingredient. So yeah, that's what's in this fragrance and it smells like beautiful dewy rose petals, slightly honeyed with a little bit of woods in the background just to support it all. But overall, this is a light, fresh rose water scent. It is on the pricier side and it's not a perfume that lasts forever. In fact, it's quite fleeting, but it's not meant to last at the same time, which is why I like to describe this fragrance as a bougie rose water scent. But what I like about it is the quality of the rose that's used in here. So if you wanna treat yourself or a loved one who loves rose fragrances, but on the fresher side, Miss Your Rose Essence is really beautiful. Number four, this is a completely unisex fragrance and my favorite new release from Ismael Cuvity this year because they released a few other fragrances. It is Ingredients. Now this fragrance was launched to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of a store called Ingredients that's based in Prague but you can also find this fragrance on the Ismael Cuvity website. It is an astounding perfume. Truly a masterpiece. I adore this fragrance. Oh my goodness. Now the ingredients are completely secret, so you don't really know what's in here, but it is a woody dominant perfume. I would almost describe it as a syrupy, intensely woody fragrance. Not syrupy in the sense of sweet, but there's like some like, I don't know what's going on. There's like crazy woods in here, which are just so intoxicating. I think that's a better word, an intoxicating woody fragrance. Imagine you are in the forest, there's like light mist around you, it's towards the end of the day and you're surrounded by towering trees, thick trunks of wood, like that is what this perfume evokes to me, like wet soil, like that is what it is about. It's also a little bit spicy and almost like a spicy black tea vibe about it, which I very, very much enjoy. The scent trail on this fragrance is beautiful. Oh, it is another super intoxicating fragrance. I mean, this one is a 10 out of 10, like 11 out of 10 type of fragrance. And because it's part of the extra collection, it is also very, very strong. You don't need that much to leave a very big scent bubble around you, which is great because I think these are the more pricier ones as well. But yeah, if you want a long lasting, impactful woody scent, this is a great one to try. For me, it's like almost like a hipster chic type of perfume. Like there's a very cool edge about the scent. So yeah, ingredients by Maison Cuvity. Number three, we have Vita by Memoise. Oh my gosh, like. The colors are matching. I mean, I don't know what's going on with my camera. It's showing a little bit more red, but this is like a fuchsia pink colored dress and this is a true red. But anyways, this looks great. The two together, I'm loving it. So Memoise, for those of you who don't know, is a British niche brand and the brand launched this year a color collection. So an entirely new collection of fragrances and each of the perfumes have a different color. And my favorite by far was the red bottle and the name of the fragrance is Vita. Now, actually I was lucky enough to 
smell these fragrances whilst they were in the fragrance development process. I was doing a little bit of freelance work for the brand a long time ago and um, Holly, who is the founder of the brand, um, let me smell some of these fragrances and my favorite again was Vita but it wasn't finalized and let me tell you this version is even better than the fragrance that I remember smelling years ago. So I'm going to tell you all about this fragrance. If you like creamy woody fragrances this is going to be right up your alley oh my gosh this smells amazing so you're going to have a beautiful creamy milky base with some sandalwood there's spices with cardamom hello cardamom lovers you're going to love this i'm a cardamom lover and i'm obsessed with this fragrance there's also some saffron some vanilla so it's a bit sweet it's warm it's cozy i find that there is a bit of a link with Oud Violet Intense by Fragrance du Bois. This very magnetic DNA, that magnetic, woody, spicy DNA that I can't find anywhere else. There is a little link with Vita, but with this one, it's more milky and it's much more sweet than Oud Violet Intense. If you do happen to like Oud Violet Intense by Fragrance du Bois, you will probably also really enjoy Vita by Memoise. Again, they're not the same fragrances at all, but they are in a similar family, I would say. Really good lasting power on this one and also a huge projection. Speaking of milky fragrances, I have a beautiful summer gourmand to share with you. It is Blanche Bette. Oh, this fragrance is so delicious. Uh, anyways, so I believe that this perfume launched towards the end of 2021. However, it wasn't available to purchase in the UK until 2022. I mean, at least I couldn't find it. So I'm going to consider this a 2022 fragrance. Now, what does Blanche Bette smell like? What kind of ingredients are in it? Well, it's all the yummy, delicious ingredients. You're going to have some white florals with like jasmine and tuberose, but to be fair, they're not dominant in this scent. What is dominant is a tonka bean. There's a very milky, like tonic quality as well. Some vanilla. It's incredibly addictive. If the best way I can describe this fragrance is an ultra milky coconut milk, like picture that in your mind, like milky coconut milk blended with the richest, thickest cacao butter. That is what this perfume smells like. Another really intoxicating perfume. I feel like with the exception of Miss Dior Rose Essence, all these fragrances are really intoxicating and quite strong. And this one certainly doesn't disappoint. It is stunning. I like to wear this in the summertime, in the evenings, say if I'm like going for a date night or something, this is the one that I like to wear and I think it's beautiful, so stunning. It has like, yeah, a summer beachy vibe as well, which I love that in my fragrances. I like fragrances that make me think of the beach because I live in London, in the UK, it's cold miserable and raining most of the time and so I like a fragrance that will bring me to a warm destination and this is what Blanche Bette does. Very very nice creamy milky coconut scent. If you like coconut fragrances you need to try this one. It is extremely unique. And coming in at number one, you probably already know this fragrance because I've talked about it so much. It launched in Q4, so September time I think, or I, or I actually did it. I don't know, but I discovered it in Q4 of 2022. It is Baby Cat from YSL. Now, I have been on a sweet gourmand kick lately, and this is satisfying all my sweet tooth cravings. It is the most incredible vanilla fragrance that I have smelt in a very long time. It is so beautiful. And this is a very exciting new launch for the private collection of YSL, which I think is called Les Vestiaires Collection. Such a nice vanilla. Okay, so what does Baby Cat smell like? It doesn't smell like Lune Féline from Atelier des Ors, despite the two sharing a similar name and also a similar ingredient, aka being a vanilla. Baby Cat is very different. Baby Cat is a vanilla that is deep and rich and it is mixed with a gorgeous notes of incense and also suede. So it's a touch leathery, but really more like light leather, like truly suede-like. And you have a kiss of incense. And this is the key here. I don't like incense fragrances, although I've been talking a lot about incense lately on my channel. I do like fragrances that have 
a touch of incense and where it's not front and center and dominant. And this is what it is in this perfume. It's more in a supporting role and just makes the vanilla so much more beautiful. The best way I can describe this fragrance if you are into your niche perfumes. To me, this is a hybrid between Rosando Matteo number no. five, which is a beautiful, like edible, almost like powdery vanilla amber fragrance as well as Vanilla Barca from Amouage. And Vanilla Barca is part of the Attar collection and it's so expensive, but this smells very close to that scent and it is a fraction of the price, even though still ex like this is still an expensive fragrance, it is more affordable than Vanilla Barca by Amouage. So I don't feel as guilty spraying it all over me as I would if I had bought Vanilla Barca. This is a super long lasting vanilla fragrance as well that lasts easy, easy 10 hours plus with a very, very strong projection, a beast mode vanilla, if you will. And I just love it. I've received compliments whilst wearing this as well. Oh, just so good. So, so, so good. Vanilla fragrance lovers do not miss out on Baby Cat. It is, in my opinion, the best new release of 2022. And that is it for today's video. I wish you a very happy new year and sending you lots of love your way. Thank you so much for your support that you've shown to my channel this year. You have been incredible. I have the most amazing audience. Thank you so much for your support. I've also learned a lot from you and from your fragrance recommendations. I love it when you give me some fragrance tips because then I go out and discover them and we create this nice little community of fragrance lovers and I find that to be extremely special. So thank you so much for all your love and support. Sending you lots of hugs and I will see you in the new year.